Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Um, today we're going to do the Serpentine area. We're less than an hour out of Perth. Lots of things in Serpentine. Serpentine Falls, the dam. Um, anyway, I'll show you everything. I won't tell you about it. We're starting the video in Mundajong because there's markets and things here. Um, but for now, let's roll that intro. Um, you'll have to get used to me wearing the hat today guys. It's going to be about 35, 36. That's Celsius. It's going to be a hot day. You'll remember in the Clown Doctors video, this is the Mundajong Tavern built in 1897. Um, it's a very popular place to, for car cruises and bike runs and things. There's a lot of them happen here. As you can see, the local Perth buses come here. Don't, if you haven't got a car, you can get out here. This is a Mundajong train station here. Um, they're spending a lot of money doing up Mundajong for tourism, so by the time you get here, there'll be even more than I'm showing you today. And now we're at the Mundajong markets on every Saturday, just at the end of town. Um, it's actually, it's right at the CRC, the visitor centre, but we'll show you in the visitor centre in a minute. Get your face painted at Serpentine Jarrodell Farmers Market in Mundajong. And we'll make the code word market. Last video of code words, guys, so get your entries in. And in the middle of the markets is the CRC, the Community Resource Centre, the visitor centre inside. And we'll make the code word as usual info. middle of the main street of Mundajong, got all these old buildings from most of them built in 1905 they're all commercial businesses now but some um, beautiful beautiful old buildings and we'll make the code word old yeah, the most famous yogurt in Perth Western Australia is Mandela sadly they're shut they're only open on Fridays but with the market on Saturday they should really try and coordinate, but that's all right. It's, if you're down coming this way on a Friday, definitely come and have a look. Taste some of their stuff, some of their yogurts, cheeses and things. And now we're back on the Southwest Highway, the main highway. Serpentine Falls turn off just there. This is the Serpentine River coming down here. This is the old bridge school. Now this one was built in 1902. The original was built well, it was the site, this is the third school that was on the site and it was originally surveyed in 1858, so it's been a school area for a long time. There's a walk up here that you can follow up along the river to the falls. I think it goes as far as the falls, but we'll show you the falls later and we'll make the code word school. Very big Buddhist community in Western Australia. I've got quite a few friends from Asia. Hey Charlie, this one's for you. This is probably the most well-known um, monastery in Perth, just on the outskirts of Serpentine. Beautiful. There's a whole area here. I'd like to put the drone up and show you properly, but there's a prison farm not far from here. So I don't want to get myself in trouble. But yeah, this is the, the local Buddhist monastery. And just on my way up to the dam and saw so this. This looks pretty cool. I thought I'd film it. There's water pipes go over the top of this if I remember right. I think it's, I'm sure it's part of the Bibbleman track that you actually walk over this when you're doing the Bibbleman track that I've shown you in a few videos. Look at this. And I can't put the drone up anywhere around here guys because it's uh, government infrastructure you're not allowed to. So um, yeah, we just have to do it with this. Look at that, I don't know if you can see it like I can, but just, it's like a, a frame around a beautiful picture. Amazing. Now we're at the bottom of Serpentine Dam. That's just the dam here. It's the runoff down there. That goes down to Serpentine Falls that I'll show you shortly. Um, 
I'm surprised that this place is empty. When I was a kid, we used to come on these barbecues. The family would do like two or three barbecues every summer where the whole family would get together. And this place would be packed with people. And now here it's a Saturday morning. No one, I guess it's early in summer, but it's gonna be a 36 degree day today, like I said. Just beautiful. I'll take you up to the top of the dam, show you there. I wish I could put the drone up, but like I said, it's government infrastructure, not allowed to. And we'll make the code word for this whole bit, dam. And now we're at the top of the dam, where I just was, the picnic areas down here. This is the dam here. Now this is a really, really popular motorboat ride, guys. I'm, I'm so sad I can't get this helmet on my head, because from Jared Isle, which we'll go to next, down to Serpentine, which I'll go and show you properly after Jared Isle. Just winding, twisting roads, just amazing. But look at this, look at all the blooms on the trees, all the bee food, just beautiful. And at the top of the dam's the dam cafe and gallery. A little bit of art in there and things. And it's um, amazing food, guys. We're, when we're riding, as you can see, bikes here, more bikes over there. It's, it's a really popular ride, this one, very popular. And great food in here, great coffee. So um, come in and say hello, family run business. I've just been in there now and met the dad and the two sons. So yeah, the damn cafe and gallery. Here's we're in Jaredale. This is the Jaredale General Store. Really good food. Um, look at this, just gorgeous. It's a beautiful part here and dwelling up. I'll take you to dwelling up in another video. Just up in the hills, that way is the Southwest Highway, so Byford. But if you keep going this way, it takes you through to Albany Highway. So you could um, you could come through here on the way to Albany. Just a beautiful part of the world. And today is such a gorgeous, gorgeous day. We're so lucky. Look at this. And this gorgeous old building is the Serpy Tavern, 1886. This area. Uh, Robert Peel, who's the whole Peel Estuary was named after, he um, first opened this up in the 1840s down near Serpentine and from there different areas were released for lease. This is just gorgeous guys, live bands here quite often so if you're going to do this check what bands, what Saturday night they've got to bands, go to the markets in the morning, go to Serpy for a barbecue, Serpentine Falls for a barbecue and a swim during the day and come here for dinner and a band in the evening. Just amazing guys and look at this, absolutely gorgeous. And right here still in Jaredale, this is the old post office, now it's the Heritage Society Museum. Unfortunately they're shut. Um, I didn't know I was coming here today, so I didn't contact anyone. This is St Paul's Cathedral, just beautiful. This is a really, like I said, the pub was built in 1886, so most a lot of these buildings would have been mid-1800s. As you've probably deduced yourselves already, with a name like Jaredale, this was a logging town when it started, and the first sawmill in the area was right here. In 1872 that was built and this Jarrah log here is to represent the history of Jarradale. And we'll make the code word for the whole of Jarradale, Jarrah, and that's J-A-R-R-A-H. And this cute little trailer here is the Botanical Bean. It's um, Jamie opens up every Saturday morning. She was just packing as I was leaving, as I was going past. It's 11 o'clock, but this is Jamie. Come down to Jaredale and get a copy. <laughs> this beautiful old building's the old Serpy pub. Now, it's shut. It's, um, it's been shut for a while. It's a bit of a point of contention from what I gather from the locals that just it's sitting here. And but just I... on the outskirts of the town of Serpentine is the Tractor Museum. This is really quite famous. This is well known all over the place. But let's go in and have a look and we'll make the code word tractor. This part of the museum is celebrating the history of shearing in Western Australia. Um, as I've told you before, we were gold and 
wool was what made West Australia what it is today. Yeah, this is a quite an in-depth look at the history. And just outside Serpentine is Wasp Paintball Baldivis. It's um, I've shot here a few times, and uh, they use all the most up-to-date gear. It's really worth coming down here, guys. A lot of fun. And for my Northern Territory subscribers. Whatever Lucas and Ryan tell you, don't believe it, because when they were here with me, I beat their asses. They couldn't get a shot in, and I felt so bad in the end that I just went and stood in the middle of the paddock and let them have a few shots at me for free, because they couldn't get one out. They couldn't get one at me any other way, but they're going to try and tell you different, I'm sure. Come shoot out at Wasp Paintball Maldivis. We will look after you as long as you have fun. And we'll make the code word paint. And in my opinion, this is the jewel in Serpentine's crown. This is, we're just walking into Serpentine Falls. Now, when I was a kid, we'd come here two or three times at least a year for picnics and barbecues. Back over here, there's a big picnic area. Because of the heat today, it's 36 degrees. There's no swimming and they're trying to, they're not letting people do the big hikes, but there's big hikes all through the mountain here. Kitty Gorge is just gorgeous. You can walk all the way up the gorge. This pipeline here is the beginning of one of the walks. You can walk across that. But yeah, no, they're, they're advising people not to do walks today because they've had to pull a few people out of here dehydrated. And swimming, again because of the heat, the bacteria is building up in the little pools at the top of the, of the falls and it gets into the to the lake here that you'll see it's just beautiful guys and um yeah it causes a bit of a, a cocktail of bacteria in the water but that only takes a day or two to flush out once the heat's been around for a while and um then it'll be good to swim in in the next day or two but yeah ring up and check before you come here as usual i'll put links in the description and we'll um i'll show you when we get there and this is the falls. Unfortunately, this is as close as we can get today. But yeah, and when I was a kid, all this would be full of people. There'd be kids up there where you can see the light colored rock there. The reason that's light colored is from everyone sliding down there to jump into that little pool in there. All these, all these ledges you can jump off. The waterfall, you can slide down the waterfall on your butt like a, like a slide. But I don't know how many of you have been ice skating when you get that sore tailbone from falling over. That's what it's like when you leave here. But yeah, we've had it all up through here is walks. Just, um, it really is a beautiful part of the world. And like I said, I believe it's the jewel in Serpentine's crown. It's just amazing. And just next to the falls is this beautiful picnic area. Oh look, a couple of kangaroos there. I don't know if you can see them. Let's see how close I can get. But yeah, in the, in, when the weather's good, like a, today's a really hot day. But this place will be packed, people having barbecues. Um, can you see these guys here? A mum and her little baby eating grass. And they're so used to people that they're not even moving. Look at that. Hey, and on the turn off to the falls. This beautiful old building, St. Stephen's Church, um, 1912 I think this one, 1913, just beautiful all the local rock. Oh, guys, if I don't seem as enthusiastic as usual to this week, I am, it's just hot. This is hot, hot, hot. It must be at least 36, 37. Oh well, that was another fun day out, I say that every week, but it is. It's just so hot guys, just burning burning hot we've had such a cold winter cold wet winter the wettest winter in decades i think if i'm right but yeah it's this today's just hitting me it's hitting everyone but if you don't know what the code words are for guys i'll put a link up here to the video explaining how you can win a mavic mini drone and this is the last chance next sunday will be the draw i'll be doing a live feed at 7 30 sunday the 5th of december 2021 sorry to the people that are watching this in the future if you haven't subscribed yet guys hit the mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below give me a big thumbs up share this video everywhere you can and um we'll see you in the next one